Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome today, hang on a minute, oh, it's my tea, I'm just nuking it in the microwave. Uh, welcome to day nine, day nine, oh hello, there we are, day nine of isolation. So long as we've got tea, we're okay. Simon is out, it is. 12.02 p.m. I'm starting today's vlog a little bit late because it's Tuesday the 24th and I have been looking forward to this day since they announced that Disney Plus was launching in the UK on this date. So I got up first thing this morning, I got up at six, which is like my usual time, but I wouldn't normally get out of bed straight away. Got up, got dressed, ran downstairs and tried to get the app on our Sky Q box. It wasn't available, I updated the box, I did everything. So I threw a bit of a tantrum, which admittedly, considering the current situation, was probably not the most considerate thing to do. But I had a meltdown. And then I went off, started watching a few bits on my laptop because I could get it on my laptop. Anyway, one of my followers let me know that the app was available to download at I think about nine o'clock-ish. So I went straight on to the Skybox, downloaded it, and then I've been watching Disney weddings <laughs> ever since. Fun times. Anyway, enough about Disney Plus. You still go on about Disney Plus. <laughs> He's had to sit and endure all these Disney fairy tale weddings this morning. I do feel a bit bad for him. But in all fairness to me, I have been waiting. I know I just said enough about Disney Plus, but I'll just tell you this one story and then we'll move on. Um, he's been editing a video, probably the vlog that you might have watched yesterday. And um, I was waiting to watch Imagineering, which I've been dying to watch. Because you guys have all been saying to me, You've got to watch Imagineering, it's amazing. So I've been sat there waiting for him to finish and he's just been editing away, working. So I had to watch Disney Fairy Tale Weddings. There was nothing else to do. Um, anyway, now we're gonna move on, I promise. Um, so as you can see, I've just had a shower, gonna dry my hair and a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> this was, a long time ago in, in normal terms. I did buy, order buy, a new hair utensil thing, a curling thing that waves your hair. Um, now you guys would have seen, in particular last summer, I would have said, summer going into autumn, that I kind of started waving my hair. I would do it the way where you twist your hair and then you clamp it with the straighteners and I also used to go to bed kind of with my hair damp like it is now. I would braid my hair, one on each side and one on the back and sleep with it like that and then let it out in the morning and it kind of give it like a beachy wave. But I bought this hair clampy thing which I'm going to show you all in a minute and I thought well we've got nothing else to do so why don't we give that a whirl. Right, so this is the thing that I bought. It is a Beautyworks Professional The Waver. And as I said, I did buy this a couple of weeks ago. In fact, it might have even been a bit longer than a couple of weeks ago. Um, and I just completely forgot to try it out. And someone had asked me actually if I had this and if it's how I achieve my waves. And I said, no, I do not have it. And then I thought, but I will buy it and I will try it out. So I know this isn't technically classed as an essential, but we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see what it's like. And then when things resume to some normality, maybe it might be something you guys wanna buy. Who knows? All right, let's plug this bad boy in and see what we're gonna do. I hate them little plastic things. All right, so I'm normally a GHD user. I don't have um, anything else other than GHD. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have GHD and my Babyliss Loose Waves Boutique Wand. I think we turn it on like that. Wow, it goes up to 220 degrees. Look at that, look how big it is. 
Gonna have to be careful with this. It doesn't come with a glove, probably because it's not a wand. And it's got a number that's currently counting down. I have no idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea what that means. Does that mean how long we're using it for? Don't ever touch your face. Don't know. Should have probably read the instructions. It must heat up really quick. Right, let me clear a space. Right, I'm not going to separate my hair. I'm just going to kind of go for it. Normally I would straighten some bits of hair because you might be able to see, even though I've blow dried it or like rough dried it, these bits here, they have like a bit of a, I think this is called a cow lick because it looks like a cow has licked it, <laughs> I presume. So I'm just going to grab a couple of small bits. I'm sure there's some much better tutorials than what I can do out there, but let's just give it a whirl. I'm going to not go all the way to the top. I'm just going to kind of start from here. Oh my, that is definitely wavy. <laughs> hmm. It's all about experimenting, isn't it? Because I've never used this before. Ow, yep. First burn of the day, folks. It's difficult to know once you've clamped it like that, it's difficult to know where to then slide it down to. So like there maybe? Maybe it's supposed to look a bit imperfect. Who knows? Hmm. Reserving judgment. <laughs> we'll reserve judgment until we've finished. Maybe you're not supposed to leave it on for that long. I feel like that wasn't long enough. That one's a bit better. Maybe we'll stick to that method. I also feel like up here I'm getting like a ridge, so I'm going to try and lean this outwards. Oh no, that's gone wrong, isn't it? So, oh no. <laughs> this is real YouTube, folks. <laughs> oh, voluminous. <laughs> So for my first attempt, not bad, it's probably gone, we'll see how it kind of fares throughout the day because my hair, I have fine hair but I have a lot of it, like a lot of hair. Um, so especially when it's freshly like rough dried, it does tend to be extra poofy. So we'll see how it fares throughout the day because normally if I would style my hair I would style it and then I would sleep on it which flattens it a little bit. Um, so we'll see how I get on with this throughout the day. But I think for like summer hair, I think it's kind of cool. It's just creating something that's like a little bit more, I say natural, I'm not sure how natural this looks, but a bit more beachy and yeah, scruffy. I like scruffy. I'm sure this would work really well on long hair to get like mermaidy waves. On short hair, it's very difficult to do like hair styling, but let's see how I get on throughout the day. Well, it's a nice day today. It's like by far been the nicest day, weather-wise, obviously, that we've had in the last few weeks. Temperature's supposed to get to about 15 degrees today, so it's looking promising for us having a day pottering around the garden. What are you up to over there? Lunch. Lunch? What's, wraps. what's on the menu, chef? Just a couple of wraps. Corn? Yeah. Southern fried? Yes, my fave. My fave. So this is a very glamorous state of our garden at the moment. Looking a bit grim after the summer months, but... After the winter months. Oh yeah, after the winter months. <laughs> but I have gone down and got this little thing, like a little sofa thing, rattan furniture, out of the studio that I cleaned the other day. Popped it there, because as you can see, garden furniture has been under cover, but it will need cleaning. And Simon says we shouldn't clean it today because we've not got like a streak of good weather so we'll clean it and then the cover will go on and it'll get all crap again so I've got this got a little blanket because I've got white joggers on 
so the babies can sit on my knee. Are you coming to join me? I am living the quarantine dream. Well, we're not in quarantine, are we? Living the isolation dream. Well, we've had a very lazy afternoon in the garden. We were out there, just sat on that little sofa thing for a good three hours, I would say. It was very relaxing and I think this whole situation is kind of making us all appreciate what we have a little bit more. I used to whinge about our garden all the time. Whinge, whinge, whinge. And now I'm like, I love this garden. It's the best place ever. So yeah, I think it's bringing things into perspective as it were. So now that we've clearly wasted most of the day just chillaxing, Simon's down in the basement because it is around about that time for his workout routine. So I am going to have a little workout routine of my own and I'm going to just do a quick full house hoover and a quick dust because we didn't do it yesterday and now because it's this time of year the dogs are molting like crazy so every now and then especially because we've got some of the windows open I can just see like a little hair tumbleweed rolling across the floor and I'm like Ready for bed, ready and rearing, shall we say. I actually feel exhausted probably because I had a little sun nap today. Um, but that is the end of day 10 in isolation. No, hang on, sorry, we're on day nine. I'm jumping ahead. If only we were so lucky to be on day 10. We're on day nine. Um, so yeah, I'm ready for bed, got my PJs on. I actually never used to be that fussed about sleepwear. Um, but very specifically now I'm just finding that even little things that make me feel good so like nice pajamas like these are from Arquette um, I actually just before Christmas bought pretty much all of Arquette's pajamas they do some 100% uh, silk ones as well which you might have also seen me wearing um, but after like just days at home, even if you actually get dressed, I just find that being able to change into something nice, just to, even to wear to bed, is kind of a bit of a mood booster. That might just be me. I don't know. If you feel the same, let me know down in the comments below so that I don't feel like a crazy person. Um, but yeah, I just like having some nice sleepwear that makes me feel a bit sort of I don't know put together kind of like an outfit but for bed um so I will catch you guys in the morning tomorrow I'm not sure what I'm going to be up to tomorrow I've got quite a few different things on the list it will very much depend on my mood but at the moment I'm thinking loungewear who knows it's like a Russian roulette you'll find out tomorrow <laughs> 